Good morning and welcome to the broadcast today. It's myself, Orville, our 2019 F750, rolling down the road toward a bush hogging job. We're going to use our 2015 Kubota M7060. Absolutely love the tractor. It's given me nothing but good service. The only issues I've had with it are my fault and me being careless once in a while. Oh, hey guys. Me being careless once in a while. One thing I want to go over today on this project to make it kind of fun for you guys. When you advertise for doing land clearing, excavation grading, you're going to have people call you to do bush hogging. Bush hogging is not a huge profit business, but it is a gateway to working bigger jobs for people. And a lot of times people will call you to go do bush hogging. You get there and there's like five and six inch trees. That's not bush hogging. That's just more land clearing. So have you a small tractor and a bush hog on hand and if nothing else you may develop a relationship with a customer that you bush hog for them every year and i've got several of those and by them knowing you and seeing you every single year when they come up needing a big tree removed or they decide to clear a forested section of their property you're in the front of their mind so that's why i call it a gateway in to more work i've got one lady that i have done her little eighth acre patch it's steep but it's uh just grass i've done her bush hogging probably for 10 years now and i charge her 150 bucks each time and sometimes i've got to drive for 40 minutes up to her place do 30 minutes of bush hogging now we're back home i still just charge her 150 bucks because she's sweet as she can be i love her so advertise your bush hogging have a bush hog on hand or if nothing else have a buddy of yours that does it cheap and you can sub to them anything to keep you fresh on your customers minds all the time today the job we're going to i'll go over it with you when we get there but the truck is full of fuel the tractor is full of fuel and i've got my time scheduled so what i'm going to do is show you guys what i charge for this job exactly i'll tell you exactly what i charge for it but then i'm going to fill up with fuel at the end of the day and you guys will get to see the expenses that are incurred for a job like this and you'll see just how low of profit bush hogging is one of the main reasons i do it i just like bush hog my first business i had when i started this business the name of it was Todd's Bush Hogging Plus. And I added the plus on at the end because I wanted to expand into land clearing and grading, but my niche in the area here in Western North Carolina was bush hogging. That was all I did. Did it for side work and I just love it. So let's get on up here to the job and I'll show you what we got and I'll also go over why I charge what I do. M7060 Kubota tractor is a 2015. I ordered it from the factory. I spec'd it out the way I wanted it. It's got a 12 speed transmission. And this is a bush hogging machine. I bush hog usually anywhere from three to four miles per hour with an eight foot bush hog. What we are using today is my little six foot. Because as per the usual, I broke the input shaft of one of the motors on my eight footer, which has three different spindles on it. So obviously this bush hog has had a very rough life. I don't take it easy on bush hogs. I got the hydraulic top link on it 
because when you get into briars, anybody who's bush hog knows that with that bush hog down, it'll plow into the briars, but then they just fold over the top. With the hydraulic top link, I can stand this thing up a lot like you can with the bush hog on a skid steer and plow into it, drop it down, and then as I pull forward, I do a finish cut. So that's pretty much it for the machine. If you have any questions about it, bush hog, loader, anything like that, just uh, drop them in the comments. The one thing that's different that I have that most people don't is it's always been popular to fill the tires with fluid. I usually fill them up to about right here and that adds a bunch of weight. Because this tire is about that wide. But I also have cast iron wheel weights. I need to scale this thing just to see what it weighs. But with all that weight and the loader in the front, weighing the front end down, I can actually mow along a bank sideways with it pretty steep. This tractor will actually slide before it'll turn over. Because I've had it to where I'm bush hogging and I'm kind of like, the tractor is uphill, but it's just going straight. And that's not ideal because it tears the ground up, but sometimes that's just what we have to do. So again, if you guys have any questions bush hogging related, Drop them in the comments. People with a really small tractor can get $45, $50 an hour for bush hogging. And then some of us get up to $150 to $200 an hour, depending on how fast we can move. So let's get up here to the job site. Okay, so here it is. The easiest, almost the easiest kind of bush hogging. It's just grass. There's no briars, no saplings, no nothing. We'll be able to do this pretty quickly. I'm just gonna do a time lapse to show you guys kind of like the patterns that I do this. Grade is right here. That is a pretty steep hill. It's hard to see grade on the camera, I know, but it really doesn't matter. When you've got a tractor with that much horsepower and that small of a six foot bush hog, it doesn't matter how steep it is. It doesn't hurt the tractor. It doesn't even strain it. So we're just gonna run through this. I'm gonna check the time real quick. So. Our time right now, 10.09 in the morning. This job is probably, I believe it's about acre and a half, two acres, but it's steep. So it's gonna take me, if my memory serves me, three, three and a half hours to do it. And that's taking my time and giving it a really nice cut because they've got this property up for sale. So it really needs to show nice. There you go, 550 bucks, three and a half hours of work. Let's run through it. We'll figure up our costs at the end. Y'all enjoy. exactly four hours let's go collect our pay fuel this stuff and then we'll figure out how much we made on this job the skinny of it is sure we made 550 bucks on the job but that's not how much we take home that is the gross the net income is what you actually make and without going into how much insurance costs me every day on the truck, how much insurance costs me on my trailer, on the tractor. I've got everything insured and that's fine and dandy. So I've got some numbers here for you guys, okay? So it's about a 30 minute haul from the yard up to the job and then 30 minutes haul back. So that's an hour of time mostly on the truck that don't even include the time i spent swapping implements loading and unloading so the truck fuel cost for this trip was seven dollars and 99 cents at 3.2 gallons that's what we burned in the hour of travel time which really isn't that bad on the tractor 
We burned 7.36 gallons in almost exactly four hours of operating it at 2200 RPMs under a pretty good load since it was pulling up and down the hills. That cost us $18.57. So our grand total just fuel truck and tractor for this job was $26.56. We burned 10.76 gallons and this is where you know if you dwell on it you know it could really make you not want to do this and again this is kind of a gateway number one it keeps me running up and down the roads in the public eye but it also keeps me in one specific customer's eyes actually him and his wife let's see what we have here after we take fuel out that drops our earnings down to $523.44. You may argue, you know, well, Todd, that's still really good money. 523.44 divided by an hour of my time driving and four hours of operating. I'm not even counting my time swapping implements because you don't always have to swap implements. So let's just say five hours. 104 bucks and 68 eight so that's 104 dollars and 69 cents per hour well that's still pretty good money well guess what to live in the great united states of america depending on what tax bracket you're in and we're in kind of one of the higher ones we hover around 30 percent 30 percent after you take fuel out now again this isn't taking out depreciations anything this is just giving you guys kind of the frame of mind you have to have in owning a business. After you take taxes out, 30% of that is $157.03. So what did we net on more than five hours of work and operating a dump truck and a tractor? We made a whopping $366.41 meaning we made about $73 an hour, and that's giving ourselves some credit. So, again, unless you do large acreage and you've got a really big tractor and like a Batwing or a 12-foot mower, even a 10-foot, you're probably not gonna make a living doing this. As far as bush hogging on the side, and there's gonna be people saying, oh, I make great money on the side. I bet they're not paying taxes, they're not reporting it which one is illegal and you know two if you don't report your earnings then you're not going to be able to show a cash flow so if you ever want to buy a piece of equipment that you can't just buy you're not going to have any credit built up for your company or your personal depending on how you do it so the way i see it right now just run everything through especially if you're a new business and you're really wanting it to be an actual business. You want to be legitimate. You want to work for yourself. You're going to need the buying power of credit to some degree, unless you just have a rich friend who just is dying to be your investor. That's the breakdown on this job. And don't take that number as a solid. Uh, and that just goes to show you why you simply can't operate a bush hogging business for 75 bucks an hour which I know a bunch of people that do and they think they're making money well those are the people that when they have something break it's the end of the world and a lot of times that tractor just sits and never gets repaired they're just like oh it ain't worth it you've got to make a pretty considerable amount of money to do any of this type of work you've got to know all your numbers you've got to know your fuel consumptions your insurance, your depreciation, you've got to know every cost you've got almost to the penny. And in some cases, you've just got to learn that from experience. And that is one of the reasons I believe that most businesses for the first five years don't show a profit because you're learning and you're trying to figure all this stuff out. Hopefully I'm helping you guys a little bit and I'm kind of opening your eyes to the frame of mind that you have to have to be in a business if you uh only work for cash and you're doing great doing this stuff i'm happy for you hope you don't get caught uh, but those of us who are a little bit bigger you know it's a lot less stressful just just do it right do it by the book and 
hopefully things will work out for you. Pay attention to all of your operations. And this is a big one, you know, knowing what it costs you to operate. You can't tell a customer how much they have to pay and you sure can't justify to some customers why your rates are as high as they are. That's pretty much the end of this, my little spill, you know. Um, if you guys have questions and I didn't answer them in this video, drop it in the comments. I'd be glad to see what I can do as far as answering those questions and hopefully opening your eyes and make your experience in owning a business a lot easier than it was for me. I appreciate you guys following me and y'all have a great day.